guys, it's Van Kastron from Canadian Affiliate File coming to you on YouTube. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. Uh, if you've been following me all this time, thank you so much for your support. In the previous video, we talked about uh, conditioning your animals for the breeding cycle. Uh, we just talked about what's been going on around here this time of year. Uh, just so you guys are following what we're doing. Uh, we talked about the lockups and, and the courtship that's been happening here uh, with the focus on the king snakes and the other colubrids here. And we focus on what to look on. Uh, I talked about what to look out for in the males uh, during this phase of it and the conditioning process also. I also mentioned that I wanted to focus on females in a separate video just because there's a potential for harm uh, during this process if things happen in captivity here. Uh, things to look out for and stuff. So we, we do need to pay a little more attention to them. So that's what I'm going to do with this video here. Um, so basically, without wasting much more time, uh, what are we looking out for in females? Um, we're looking out for body tone and condition. We're looking out for uh, changes uh, to the response to the feed cycle. We're looking for the visual cues. We're looking for behavioral cues. We're looking for different stages in, uh, in, in her development here, in the reproductive cycle. Um, what I mean by body tone and condition, I'm talking about when you, the females are building follicles sometimes when you're handling them, they'll have a, a little bit of a swollen feel and actually have a spongy feel to the belly. It's the best way of describing it. Sometimes they'll actually, when they when they grab it or when they actually starting to build eggs, they actually feel stiff. Uh, and, and a lot of times, this is another thing that can also happen with body tone is females will actually hold themselves tense when you're handling them, uh, and some all of a sudden, or sometimes you have a female that's normally a tense snake when you're handling them, be completely limp in your hand and more relaxed in your hand too. Those kind of changes can happen too. Uh, there's a response. The feed cycle sometimes it you know, increases with the food cycle. Sometimes it actually just stops. Actually, they'll actually be uh, one day they'll be feeding and all of a sudden they won't, and they go like, why they're not? Because they sh they're due for a feed and so on and so forth. So changes to that too. You know, you gotta keep an eye out for uh, females will also. And sometimes even uh, finicky feeders will actually start getting ravenous also. So look out for those kind of things, right? Uh, visible cues is um, when I'm talking about scale separation in snakes, you'll see females when they lay a certain way, there's that much extra scale separation and the sides of the belly, you can actually see that. You'll actually see sometimes you'll see the pushed up spine, um, when they actually start building eggs along the, along the abdomen also, you actually push the spine up just to create the room in there. So cool things like that guys, you can actually keep an eye out for. There's also behavioral cues that you'll actually have females that actually normally be uh, really tame and mellow snakes and one day you go pick them up and she's just reared right up and all icy and all have, you know, really let loose on you. And then you have sometimes the snakes that will actually normally be like that. One day you pick them up and you're checking on them and it's completely calm and relaxed. So it's it's all hormonal blade based uh, at this point, I, I believe with, with these behavioral cues I'm seeing. So um, keep an eye out for those kind of things guys. And then there's also the stages um, of what snakes go through, the females go through, they feel, start feeling follicles and um, you know, ovulation and so on and so forth. But um, we're gonna take a quick bio lesson on that right here. So we're talking about building follicles with females. Um, what I mean by build, building follicles, basically they're the precursors to your shelled eggs or your um, egg sacs that go down there, the oviducts. We're talking about the, the first start of the female sex cells here that are building an ovaries here. And that can actually happen uh, for a few months. Um, in garden snakes, for example, it actually happens in the fall. Uh, they go into hibernation and brumation. They keep building follicles along the way. They come out in the spring. They're ready with follicles to be fertilized by the male. And that's the next step that happens usually uh, with animals, with the snakes, um, fertilization. Cool thing with reptiles though actually is they can actually Fertilization, fertilization can actually happen along the oviduct and all can actually happen outside the oviduct opening closer to the ovaries too. So because by, with sperm retention, we've seen that in snakes actually. A lot of you guys know examples of some sperm retention with snakes. So that's how that happens with um, the fertilization process. Uh, and then of course, the, there's the leaving of the follicles or the, or the eggs too into the, the oviduct. They actually go along the two oviducts along the sides. Uh, the egg shell forms along the way in the egg laying snakes. Um, in uh, oval viviparous snakes like uh, vipers, they are actually not thick shells, uh, but uh, more of a egg membrane and then the embryo actually develops in the mother uh, as opposed to the egg laying snakes actually develop outside. Uh, and then you have also viviparous snakes that actually through pl uh, placenta type uh, membranes that actually have transfer of nutrients also. Uh, for example, garter snakes actually do that too. So you have that happening uh, along the way of the female body. Uh, the embryo is growing, 
really the ones that grow inside them or outside, right? We call it embryogenesis. Uh, and then they also, of course, have the, the, the time when the embryos actually leave the female too. So, uh, so basically guys, I just want to do it, take a quick break here when you're talking about all these things to look out for. Um, there's so many things boy tone that I was going on about. I'm trying to get you guys to look at your animal and know your animal and handle your animal and actually see it in front of you and behave, the behaviors you can watch and stuff. Because what I'm going on about is right now is say no to the weight scale right now in this, in this part of the face. Like don't don't look at your weight scale and go like, oh my grams and this and that. It's, you can be easily thrown off, but a weight gain could mean something else as opposed to what phase that female is going through. So just try to look at all these other subtle cues and try to see if you can key into your female. And it'll mean a lot more to your process and naming what you want to do also. So don't rely on that weight scale in this process. But anyway, so, I, so here I'll show you a few examples of what I've been talking about with all these females and what to look out for. So here we have our um, blood red female, blood red corn snake female um, to show again. She's building, I think she's she ovulated a little bit ago here, not quite a week, I think, but she's starting to show the egg lumps here. I don't know if you can see that. She's starting to push them down. The eggs are going down on overduct here. Uh, I'm not sure if that captures it. Can they focus a little closer there? Let me see it. Yeah. And you can still see that pushed out belly um, that I was talking about earlier. Uh, you can see the scale distension in her also that's starting to show in the back end. Uh, not as opposed to like the front. There's a little bit in there too with this guys, but uh, there's a lot more that happens as soon as you get to the back then you can just see that difference there. So um, there you go. So that's uh, how it looks like in a corn snake. So here I have my hypo mosaic uh, Florida King here. It's pretty gravid. She's really, 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 really big. But she ovulated like a couple of days ago and she, she's like a mom actually. She's really, she has really big big oh she's she's got an appetite back as well the other thing i was going to show you guys she's this girl is actually a monster she's chased me across the floor before uh the worst of my king snakes with the appetite but uh, look at the size of that belly but when i first picked her up just this few days ago she like she was had no interest at all and you know just she's kind of like a corn snake like i mentioned earlier guys so you know something changed and she was ovulating and then paired and then now she Few days later she's back to her whole self so um but there you go you can see that swelling there again you guys and i want to show again talk about how her temperament is uh she's not trying to eat me now she was chewing on herself earlier <laughs> but she's doing relatively well now so let's put her back while she's being good okay here i have my mosaic florida king here she does not like me taking her out here and just freaking out she started musking me earlier um i think she's ovulating or getting close to she just must be starting that process because she's reacting. You can see that swelling there starting to come down. Just starting to get that flap here and then just building down here. Um, okay, sweetheart, relax. <laughs> and, uh, sorry. Okay. Now, can you see that? If I focus close enough? Are you trying to eat me now? <laughs> it's probably King Snake, I tell you. That's what females will do too when they're trying to build. Uh, when they actually get those eggs growing on the also in there. But can you see that part? Yeah, see the eggs developing in there. So down the oviduct they go. Um, and yeah, so that's the kind of the early stages of actually um, to show that you're not seeing quite the egg lumps yet. They're actually not fully forming. I can kind of sort of see my my angle here, but uh, there you go. I have uh, you've probably seen this hair of mine, my Hernando King is going at it in previous videos. Oh, she's not, yeah. She does not like it. Okay, so, okay, okay, sweetheart, relax, relax. I'll be good with you. So, the, the perfect example here now, how are you? See how she's doing that now? Do you see that in the video? I'm stressing her out too much, but she's later on, she's one of my later stages female huge gravity. You can see that swelling here. Uh, she's starting to get a real stiff in the back end here now. She hated it. As soon as I put her in with the male, she launched herself out of there, so I'm like, okay, okay, you're done. These are the cues I'm talking about, guys. Like, this is it. This female is done. Let her relax.
there you have it guys uh, these are the main things that I look out for in my females during this process uh, this time of year um, I just love this time of year too there's just so much activity going on with the animals too I can just feel it in the air especially when you come in the morning you hear the tail thrashing and the same things going on and, and it just it's, it's exciting um, and it's always kind of a, there's things happening too with females right in different phases and stuff too so I just, I just love it like and it's like always love what you do guys like you know and speaking of loving what I do you guys obviously know that I've been doing this thing with you know having my featuring my buddies bands out here uh, on this platform too so and for today we have our old school favorites here from our local favorites Omar uh, with their crossover thrash punk kind of avant-garde style this love I love the mindscape they put me in man but show them some love in the social and by the way guys if any of you guys actually have like good tunes you got recorded around here like you got your own band going on there you want some tracks played on here YouTube send my way man let's get it out that heard like I love this like it's just metal is my thing and you know why not right like you know if you're an indie independent musician send me your music out there if i like it i'll put it out here right um honestly also guys i'm kind of running out of t-shirts um not that i don't have enough t-shirt band t-shirts but i also have bands that have disbanded or kind of lost touch with guys over the years and stuff and talking to them again asking for the music and so i kind of you know doing this weekly video thing i didn't really quite think that was true so Send me some submissions, guys. If you guys don't get anything you want to get heard, uh, send them out this way. And as always, you know, support your local scene, support your reptile hobby, support anything you guys are passionate about, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. You hear me rambling all the time again. Until next week, this is Ben Casement from Canadian Infinity File.